So after 600 miles of driving, we are in St. Pete and uh, loading the boat up, about to throw it in the water. Uh, it's been a haul, but we're here and we don't know what's biting. We got a guy going with us today, but we don't really know what's gonna bite. So we're gonna load up everything from tarpon rods to inshore rods and everything in between and see what we can find. So we're gonna take y'all along with us today and hopefully it's a good one. So after 600 miles of driving, we are in St. Pete and uh, loading the boat up, about to throw it in the water. Uh, it's been a haul, but we're here and we don't know what's biting. We got a guy going with us today, but we don't really know what's gonna bite. So we're gonna load up everything from tarpon rods to inshore rods and everything in between and see what we can find. So we're gonna take y'all along with us today and hopefully it's a good one. Well, there's your first nook. Should I pop him in the boat? Yeah, yeah any bigger than that will grab him. Do you flip? <laughs> so we just got out to the first spot. We're waiting on the, uh, grab that fish for a second. We're waiting on the tide for the tarpon and we got a real slack tide. So we decided to come over here and see if we can't hook a snook because uh, Dan has never caught a snook before and uh, first fish. So instead of waiting on a tarpon, might as well catch some fish and uh, have some fun doing it. We're gonna be out here all day and make the best of it. Justin's been swearing to me that these boats are the real deal in there. They are. Yeah, they really are. are great, they really are. Cookie cutters, huh? Oh yeah, they're all, we'll get a lot of these. Nothing wrong with that. I couldn't, I couldn't buy him. No, you're good. You're just I'll a lefty. That's how it goes sometimes. Normally, you break out the camera, they get camera shy today. They're happier than uh, they'll be fine. Today, that's for sure. We're on a roll right now. You're catching us on a good time. We've had a really good streak. That one's got another one on it? Yeah. Double. There you go. Quick release. Quick release on that one. Camper day two step. This place. I need to give a shout out to Mr. Diver on the camera. So, yeah. So we just, uh, Doubled up, and that's probably number five snook. One thing this place has got is it's loaded with these snook, these cookie cutter 25 inch snook. And uh, like Joe said, we got to give a shout out to this diver. We were fishing the other side and weren't getting a bite. And the diver said, oh, a snooker on the right side because uh, he's looking for something to shoot. So we came over here and five fish in a row. And I tell you what, it, it, he said it was slow yesterday, but I guess we're bringing the luck over here because we got to catch fish all day long. We've been on a roll. We just came off to Cobia fishing and we got here last night and we're right back on catching. I love how y'all do that. We, we frown so far up against that. What, going down? Get that rod tip up. Well, no, I only do it when they're going I know. Fishing. And once I see them out, the snook, they'll break you off every time. Yep. You keep your rod tip down. See a Base snook, I got plenty of them here. Lots of them. Yeah. 
pretty little fish. No shortage of them. Yes, sir. Thanks for playing, Bubba. Is that a one? You got any mix on your leader? Like any little phrase or anything like that? No. Right above your hook. If you see the white little phrase or anything, you pass it back and I just gotta trim it up. Do. You do? Let me trim it. It's on. You didn't fire it up. Where's that? Like you need that. me to move up a couple feet? Back in my spot. I need my, need my hook. Working on it. <laughs> Guy's working on it. Bye, Bubba. Uh-huh. Just trying to get him out. I expect a fish on the next bait, though, okay? Me too. Me damn too. I mean, it's like four swings and misses. Okay, that's not four. It's two. <laughs> two swings and misses? All right. Don't insult me like that. <laughs> Just want to make sure you didn't forget. <laughs> Strike three, we're putting you in the penalty block. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's 0 for 2 here. Okay. And now we're going to go on camera and see if we can't get the third one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perfect cast, Have but... Have caught one today? No. Yeah, not the conversation we're having right now. <laughs> the conversation is on going 0 for 3. <laughs> Bird, no! Get! Get it, Birdie! <laughs> nah, he shouldn't mess with your fish. He just, was messing with me earlier. Just your bait. Third time's a charm. Get ready, I'll catch you. <laughs> Alright, so we just smoked a bunch of redfish and speckled trout. Redfish, but trout, redfish and snook. And I'm gonna show you kind of what we use. Pretty simple setup. Uh, double uni knot uh, from 20 pound braid. That about a four foot piece of leader, 20 pound fluorocarbon, uh, only 20 max. And then what size hooks are we running? One to two aught. One to two aught uh, circle hook. That's all it is. Real simple on a medium or medium heavy. We use a lot of medium heavy, like I was saying, to turn these fish out the mangrove. So medium heavy rod would be ideal uh, on a 3000 reel and Lock down your drag and turn them. And little green backs, which is a little live bait that we were catching earlier in the cast net. And it's been pretty good. We probably put 20, 30 fish in the boat. And uh, now we're gonna see what else we can catch real quick. So after some great snook fishing, red fishing, and doubling up on a red fishing snook, it was time to go try and try our luck at these tarpon. And this is what we really came here for. It's the beginning of the season. And we just wanted to see if we can get one airborne. Um, but that quickly changed for us. So we, we pull up at the spot and like I said, I can't say enough about Captain Joe. This guy is as good as they come. Um, first class guide and a true guide, not a fisherman, a guide. Really good at his craft. And if you ever get the chance in the Tampa Bay area to fish, come fish with him. You will not be disappointed. It's one of the days we go down in memory books for me. And we've had a, quite a few of those recently. So we pull up to the spot and we set up on a uh, spot lock on a reef and we're gonna start chumming back. And, and the way this is done is literally you throw chum out and every now and, and you take the chum and you put it on, and the chum I mean white baits, and you take a couple and put it on the hook and you drop back with the chum. And you know, you, you, the, the tarp will eventually get behind the boat and start trailing the boat and just feeding on the back of the boat. And you wanna get your bait bit, the one with the hook in it. So, we're doing this, we're doing this, and you know, Tiana's saying, hey, you know, we're gonna move or we're gonna keep doing it. And Joe's, you know, stick with it, stick with it. 
it, it's gonna happen. The tide's just gotta get moving, it's gotta get right. And tide starts picking up, and we keep going and going, and then Joe kinda gets on this kick of, hey, just one bite. That's all we need is one bite today. I just need one bite. And, and I'm with him, man. I'm like, hey, man, I, I just wanna see one fish. Little did I know that fish was gonna be this big. And it happened. And when it happened, that rod went nuts. As soon as he dropped back, he got eight, and this fish started walking across water, and I wish I would've got it on video. You know, we couldn't get the cameras out quick enough when it happened, because it had been a dry spell for a while, but the rest of the footage, I really hope you're enjoying it. It's, it's as good as it gets. And, and this tarpon was one of those special tarpon that just had that extra bit of fight in them, extra bit of energy, and just really wanted to get it. And it literally was a team effort. Multiple people on the wheel, multiple people on the rod, and we finally, you know, first it was, hey, let's just get him to, you know, hook one. Well, now we really wanted him. You know, we knew we needed one bite, and it would just top off the day to catch this monster fish. And as you'll see, we got them both side, not just a leader grab, which is a catch fish. We got them both side, got our hands on them, and, and just finished off a special epic day. We good or we gotta get on motor or anything? Go right here. Yeah, take your time. So we've been here literally, I don't know, 20 minutes chumming back and we hooked up on a big old tarpon. He just took a couple walks and watched the show. He was scoping up. Go ahead and get on him, Johnny. Go ahead. Give it. Go steady forward. All right, chill. You might have to give a little reverse, just see. So drifting on. up right now. You ready to do this? Oh. I thought I put on a show out the gate. Different tarpon. Different tarpon. This tarpon's down bottom deep. I need a rod, y'all. Want it? Uh, not now. That's all yours. No, you're fighting. I was gonna say. Yeah. You can have this one. I will fight my own. I just like hooking them. Oh, you're, you're gonna have to help them, so get ready. You're up there. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, you lifting this one. You're getting broken in the right way. You're gonna grab them out. No, you're gonna lift them. Don't have these. Yeah, you're gonna lift them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kathy. I don't freaking know. Knock on wood after the year. I got gloves here. Nah, we not we not going gloves. We're going raw. Right, I'm gonna have marks to show on this one. We're going raw. Okay. You don't want to come up anymore. Cameras come out. He wants to go up. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. There he goes. Oh, ho, ho, look at the bait. You see the bait? He was eating some chunks. You see the chunk come out of him? That was cool. He spit probably he's 10 baits out of it. All, all damn day, but we can't get him. No, he's been eating it down there. He's eating it all day. Oh, but he's throwing it up. Yeah, he's trying oh. to get rid of that hook. Oh. So he's spitting everything up, trying to get rid of the hook. Look at him. 
I ain't seen that before. That's crazy. <laughs> you would just spit that it. That fucker was easy. Wait, no, so, that's awesome. Do I need my hand? Huh? No, no, I was kidding. You're not gonna grab this one yet. Why not? <laughs> you can try. We'll see. David, come up again. That's enough of the breath. Oh, you got a breath on you. You got a quick breath on you. You didn't get it. That's what I'm talking about. It's a good first arm and a hook getting here. It's a good first one. When these tarpon come up, they try and gulp for air. And that's what, what Joe's trying to do is keep this fish down and keep him for a chance to gulp. And they pump that oxygen right through their body and rejuvenate themselves to get a whole other run out of them. So he's trying to keep them down and keep him from doing that. So if you watch this technique, you'll see that's what he's doing. It's, it's funny when you're not there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> when you're there. I'm used to driving. Uh huh. I'm used to laughing and driving. It's going again. It's taking off again. I tightened up a little bit on the drag. Powerful fish. <laughs> Very powerful. That fish is getting it. That fish is getting it. out there is right about 100 feet in front that fish came up and gulped and grabbed another they take so they can take oxygen and run it through their body and rejuvenate themselves yeah, you want to come put a little heat on this real quick so i can take a break for a second me you want to either one of you i know okay. you're, you're too proud to take it from me okay you got the uh butt Solid. yeah where's the butt at she ain't got a shirt on just hang on she don't let go of the rod all right keep reeling real hard yeah you can put pressure on them Get 
bathroom. You got it. Where she goes, trying to go the opposite. Uh, yeah, he's running. He's still going. Let him run. Damn. That's when you catch your breath. Yeah. That's when you find rabbit, basically. Uh huh. That's when you let him catch your. You let him catch you. You catch your breath. Steady reel. Just keep the rod right there. And reel. And just crank. Don't put it down. Don't just put crank. it down. Stay up. Lean back a little bit. He's going to drive for you. Gonna Stay up. Base. Back up a little bit. Yeah. Back up a little bit. So you have a step that we have stepped if you have to go forward. Spread your legs. There you go. Uh, probably neutral. Let it drift up. Watch the big wave, big wave. Big wave, watch your feet. Just hold, just hold the rod, don't reel yep. it up. Big wave, big wave. Just the wind, but when the wave's over again. I got two legs, that's fine. I'm part of the fish. Down to the right for me. There he is, right there. See him? It's up on the surface. Keep going, keep going. Down to the right if you can. I know his back's probably killing you. Keep her head down. Keep her head down. You don't want her to breathe. She's grabbing this fish. Rod up, rod up. Oh! Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Don't turn it, don't try to turn it. Get the tip up. You're too low. Down that way, that way, go. Just like that. Real, real. On the right, on the right. Mike, you know? She's got that gulp. That's exactly Shoot the drum, shoot the drum. We had to hit her off. Stay there. Beautiful fish. I want to try and get pictures of this fish if we can.
think I just had it down or back. Right. Yeah, it was just down or back. Oh, 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 big gulp. Damn. Big gulp. Oh. That is a, you, you got the alpha right there. That's a nice, yeah. <laughs> you definitely did. It is on her back, you're right. Is it? Yeah. You want to go again? Yeah, come on. Come on. Now nah, we don't need that. I got to find the other camera anyway. I can't say it enough. If you get down to Tampa Bay, hit him up. You will not be disappointed fishing with him in his charter service. We'll put the description, uh, the links below, all of his contact information. It won't be the last time you see these guys with us fishing. We plan on doing a lot with these guys. You know, when you find good fishermen, you try and network with them, become one as a group, and these are those guys. So make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel too. You know, we're trying to put out a ton of content this year, and it started off to be an epic year. We thought 2023 year would be and the Cobia video that we just put out was phenomenal. And we really think that this one is just on that same level. It's just an epic day of fishing. And we hope y'all learned something throughout the process of us catching these fish. So once again, shout out to Joe, shout out to everybody. Deanna put it on him today. Again, it was just, you know, her snook fishing ability was, was first time catching them and just great, great technique at what she did. And, uh, can't wait to do it again. So hope you liked the video. Once again, like and subscribe to us. We appreciate all the support. Any places you want us to fish, any species you have any questions about, put it in the comments below. We'll be happy to add it to the list of trips we're gonna be making.